Let's have a little chat, shall we? Yeah, let's have a little chat. A little a little occult chat. Um This is the occult view. Some of you know me as Sia Grant. Um I wanted to come through and I wanted to talk about something that has been on my spirit. And y'all know me, normally when something keeps gnawing at me, I have to talk about it. As I sit back and I examine, and others have spoken about this in different variations, but when I sit back and I examine a lot of these so-called celebrities, um, social media influencers, even here on YouTube, and what really, what really influenced me to talk about this was, I'm looking at the whole thing that's taking place between D.L. Hughley and Monique. And, you know, I made a video about it and I stand by everything that I said. And I was talking to another um, spiritualist on here who I watch and I enjoy her channel. And she made a very valid point. She said that Monique has something on her. And those of us who are spiritualists, we know what that means. She has something on her. And she does have something on her. I just wanted to add that not just with Monique I'm looking at what's going on with Nene Leakes I'm looking at Tammy Roman Evelyn Lozada I'm looking at all of these people who happen to be women of color unfortunately and I'm looking at you know just the behavioral patterns of all of these people and even when it comes to the men who are well known and in social media you know I'm really just looking at these people and my question is I know I'm babbling but that's what I do sometimes I'm a Virgo because I'm very detailed my question is where do these people come from who are these people What is their true history? And I know people may take this the wrong way who may be fans of the people that I mentioned, which I don't give two fucks or a shit about, but I'm just I'm just saying. Where did these people come from? Even some of these people in the conscious community, because I remember when I was looking at um, this guy on YouTube, he was interviewing another guy, and this guy was saying that some of these conscious dudes, they get them, the government gets them out of jail. They pull them from the penal system, clean them up a little bit, And then turn them into these conscious social influencers on YouTube and social media, etc., etc. So I started thinking, okay, if they can do that to them, not necessarily the government, but if that can happen with them, could it possibly be that they have done the same things with some of these celebrities? Because the point that I'm making is some of these celebrities, they act like they just came straight out of insane asylums, off the streets from being on drugs and crack and all types of other drugs. Go back to Basketball Wives that particular season when Evelyn Lozada, when she jumped across a table and tried to attack Jennifer. Do, do people remember that? Or what about the time that Tammy Roman went complete? You know, I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm gonna be. I'm, I'm gonna be. And, and and I and I adore Tammy. I adore Tammy. Don't get me wrong, because Tammy has qualities that I do like about her. 
She does. But if we understand Tammy's background, Tammy came from a very, very tumultuous background. So this gives validity to what I'm saying about where they get these people from. They get these people from the lowest of the. I mean, what are they? Uh, uh, what are they uh, ser searching for people in the bowels of society? And I'm not. I'm not saying that is the case with Tammy, but the point that I'm making is is that they obviously get these people from very very low places in society. They get these people from very, very, they, they find people in low, low places in their lives. And they clean them up a bit, physically, they clean them up a bit. But the people are still emotionally and psychologically scarred, whether it be from drugs, whether it be from sexual abuse, whether it be from, you know, anything they had to experience in their life that caused a scar that won't heal emotionally. And that's a very dangerous thing when they put these people in the spotlight for other people to worship and to look up to. Because now people are feeding off of that energy and they're thinking, oh, I want to be like that person. And they're feeding into it. And it spreads. And it spreads. Same thing with the Kardashians. Who are these people? Who are these people? And I know a lot of people are scared to say their fucking name, but I'm sure as hell not. I'm sure as hell not. I wish a bitch or nigga fucking would. I just did a fucking um, ritual last night. <laughs> Went outside in the elemental energies. And did a ritual last night. So like I said, I wish a bitch a motherfucking nigga would. I wish the fuck they would. If they only knew. If only you knew how much I do. Do my voodoo. <laughs> I'm joking around, y'all. But no, who are these people? Who is Monique? Who is Tammy Roman? Who is Evelyn Lozada? Who is Stevie J? Who are these other people in the conscious community? You know what I'm saying? Who was Kevin Samuels for real? No shade to the dead, but I'm just asking a fucking question. Who are these people with millions and hundreds and thousands of subscribers? Because you can't tell me that that's all by, um, uh, uh, just by chance. Who are these people? Who is Tasha K? And I do like Tasha K. I'm just asking questions. But who are these people? And I definitely liked her interview with that John Gray person. Oh, I like that. I like that interview. I did like that. I didn't see the interview, but I saw enough to know what's going on. Same thing with John Gray. Who is this man? This is a man who's supposed to be a pastor. He is supposed to be a pastor. And let me be clear. I know we all fall short of the glory of God, child. And I'm not no religious person, but you know, I was, that's, that, that's the foundation that I was raised in. I was raised Methodist. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Motherfucking Ghost. Okay? But what people don't understand, the Holy Ghost is really La Santa Simia Muerte. But people don't get that. That's another whole motherfucking topic. Okay? But that's the Holy Ghost that y'all don't know about. But I do. That's the Holy Ghost that gets things in motion. See, the Holy Ghost is the vibration. It gets things in motion. But he is supposed to be a pastor. He has cheated on his wife multiple times multiple times multiple times he has cheated on his wife now it comes out that some woman he was cheating with um, they, it was recorded showing his private parts now he's humiliated then he admits that you know when he was a child I don't want to repeat that 
act on my channel because he was a child when it happened, but when he was a child, a, an atrocious act was perpetrated upon him by a grown man, I'm assuming. And allegedly he admitted to, to, Tosh, to Tasha K that he's confused about his sexuality. Child, anybody could see when he when they used to when they first started advertising for the book of John Gray on OWN, I believe that was the name of his reality show, that whack ass reality show. When they first started advertising for that reality show, I knew he was gay then. I said, that nigga's a motherfucking sissy. I said he's gay. I knew he was gay then. So and I knew he was broken then. And then yet he's sitting up there telling people what they should not do and they shouldn't do this and thou shouldn't that and thou shouldn't do this. But he's a whole fucking, he's a whole fucking uh, 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 neurotic mess. And from what I understand, this is not the first time that he has cheated on his wife. So the question goes back to who are these people? Who are these people for real? Who is Nature Boy? Well, we know who he is. We know who Nature Boy is. He started out as an exotic stripper. Then he got into gay porn. Letting white men stick their fingers up his butt. Now he's arrested. Um, accused of all types of atrocities. But this is the this is the culture that we live in. They pull these people because he also was pulled from somewhere, put in place, but he got too fucking crazy. That was the problem with him. He got too crazy. And you know, I'm going to play devil's advocate for a minute. I'm going to play devil's advocate. Who is young Pharaoh? And I know a lot of people say that, you know, and I know young Pharaoh, he doesn't like gay people. He has a lot to say about homosexuality. I don't, I don't care about any of that. But one thing I will give young Pharaoh, one thing I will give him a lot of people say, oh, he's been cloned and replaced, he's turned... But you know what? I truthfully believe, even though he said some fucked up shit about Bobby Hemmett, and y'all and I, and I, and know how I feel about Bobby Hemmett, you know? He said some fucked up shit about Bobby Hemmett. I get that, but he's young. He'll come into some... He'll, he'll, he'll get it, eventually. But one thing I will give young Pharaoh that I saw in him that I have not seen in the rest of these people... When he was speaking about his children, I saw the real young Pharaoh take a peek out of that sunken place. See, it's going to take the love of his children to bring him out of that. I will give him that much. I will give him that much. I see, I see something in him where he can come back from this. Unlike the rest of them. You feel what I'm saying? The rest of them are lost motherfucking causes. But young Pharaoh, I see a potential for him to come to come back to come up out of this. Because I don't think young Pharaoh is all bad. I don't think he's all bad. I think right now he's operating on the energy of being hurt. Young Pharaoh is hurt right now. One thing about it, you don't hear anything about him harming children. You don't hear anything about no weird shit about him or anything like that. And I'm not a young motherfucking Pharaoh fan. Yeah, I think they picked him from somewhere too. But the difference between him and the others, he has a little bit more compassion in his heart. He tries to hide it like most, uh, like most of us Virgos do. But he has a little bit more compassion in his heart. And I don't give a fuck who don't like young Pharaoh. And I don't give a fuck if you think I don't care anything about that. I'm talking spirit. But who is young Pharaoh? 
Who is Umar Johnson? Who are these people? Where do they come from? Where did they get them from? Umar Johnson was just caught up in some type of scandal. They said they saw him talking to a, um, a white woman, but then she said she's really not white, that she's really Persian or whatever the case may be. I don't really care about that. We all know that black men have always had a taste for non-black women. So, I mean, it is what it is. He's a man. He's heterosexual. So, I mean, that's what they do. My grandmother used to say, a uh, dick ain't got no conscience. What, what did she used to say? A dick don't have a conscience and a pussy don't have a guide or a pussy don't have a guide and a dick ain't got... One, one way, my grandmother used to say that. When these niggas get ready to do what they do, they don't give a fuck. All that pro-black and black conscience and the black woman is queen and all that shit, that shit goes out the motherfucking window, child. When that dick gets hard for something that looks good to them, whether it be a man or a woman or whatever, that shit goes out the motherfucking window. Okay? That's real motherfucking unadulterated spiritual occult talk. Okay? Real talk. I've been with black men who were married and in relationships with white women. And they tell me that they don't like other black people. But then they saw my big pretty red lips. You get my motherfucking drift. And they forgot all about that motherfucking white woman. You feel me? They sure did. They most certainly did. They most certainly did. I got, I have, it's one right now that's still obsessed with me. And I have to block him because he keeps creating new motherfucking numbers trying to contact me. He was with a white woman for years. But once he got a taste of me, he couldn't get my taste off of him. So niggas will say any motherfucking thing. But the question is, who are these people? And why do we follow them? Who is Nene Leakes? Now from what I understand, Nene comes from a good family. From what I understand. From what I understand, according to her sister, I think her sister's name is uh, Kenya. Her sister did an interview years ago and said that their parents own grocery stores. They own gas stations. They... Nene came from a pretty good family. But it's mighty funny. She don't speak to her family just like Monique doesn't speak to her family. Is this a Sagittarius effect? Because both of them are Sagittarius. And Monique's sister left a long dissertation on... Um, and I'm being facetious when I say that. But she left a long dis dissertation on Facebook really calling her sister Monique out in all of this mess that's going on with D.L. Hughley and Monique. And she was saying to Monique, where are your children? Basically saying, you're, talking on some, you're speaking on someone else's child, but where are yours? Because from what I understand, one of her sons d does not speak to her and has nothing to do with her. So the question remains... Who are these people? Who am I? I'll tell you one thing, I'm a self-made person. Yeah, I may have had a couple of a couple of uh, 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 pushes to get me to where I am, a couple of them, but I'm a self-made person. I have my own style, I speak in my own way, and nobody didn't pull me from no motherfucking where. Who are these people? But what I was going to say about Tammy Roman, I forgot. To be honest with you, that whole fight that went down between... Because Duffy is back on Basketball Wives. Those who follow Basketball Wives. When you really look back at that whole fight that went on between her and Duffy years ago. In actuality, the only thing that Duffy... And at first, I was really leaning towards more so Tammy's perspective. But in actuality, in, in true actuality, Duffy being the Virgo that she is, the only thing that she did wrong was 
When somebody says to you, I no longer want you in my life, meaning I don't want your services, I don't want anything from you, the only thing I, I think that Duffy, where she went wrong, is she got offended because Tammy no longer wanted her services for her daughter. Okay? And suffice it to say, her daughter has not really been that successful in the music game anyway. I think Duffy could have could have helped to open up some doors for um, her daughter Jazz. And that ain't no disrespect to the young lady, but Tammy fucked that up for her daughter. Because see, oftentimes what ends up happening is, because us Virgos, we are very powerful sorcerers and sorceresses, along with cancers, what ends up happening is, is that you fuck us over and then we come back and we snatch your ass and we take what you think is yours. Tammy is no longer on the show, but they brought Duffy back. And that is what some people would call karma. Because Tammy really did do Duffy wrong. I don't think Duffy meant any harm or anything like that. She didn't mean any harm towards Tammy. Tammy went ballistic on that girl for no reason. For no reason. And you can tell that Duffy was really hurt about that. She was really hurt because sometimes Virgos will be upset with someone, myself included, and we won't really say anything because we get so angry. And a lot of times I don't say anything because I don't want to go to jail. Because I know my temper. You know, I'm a work in progress like every motherfucking body else. But the difference between me and other people, other people will not admit that. They will have you to believe that they have it all together when they don't. When they don't. I was watching this ridiculous man on YouTube. I think he's Latin or something like that. And he was talking about how he went to I don't even want to talk about it. I don't even want to talk about that. But where do they get these people? Where do they get these people? Where do they get Tammy Roman from? She has so many issues. Now she has body, and I may say this wrong, body dysmorphic um disease or something like that. Or like somebody else pointed out, did Evelyn Lozada put some uh, uh, juju on your motherfucking ass? Because just like the whole thing with Evelyn Lozada, Evelyn came to you like a woman and said, look, you know, I did mess with your ex-husband, but I didn't know about you. This was years ago. And she flicked off on Evelyn. So where do they get these people? Where do these people come from? Oh, that's right. They come from the gutter. They come from the bowels of society. Let's just be motherfucking honest. And someone sees potential to make money off of them. So they'll pull them up, clean them up a little bit, but we will see they're, they're, they're basically making money off of their mental illness and their glitches. Same thing with NeNe Leakes. NeNe Leakes is a train wreck. And I love me some motherfucking Miss Nene on The Real Housewives of Atlanta. But the truth is the truth. And see, nobody's not telling the truth about these people. Because I'm the only true, true child. She's a train wreck. She is an absolute train wreck. Now she's messing with married men when she told Kim Zosiak to keep her legs closed to married men. And now the husband's, the, the, the married man, excuse me, the married man that she's messing with, the wife is suing Nene? They're not just suing you, Nene. And other people have said this. I just, I'm just saying it now. But I knew it from the get-go. They working something on your ass. Because I think they're African and they work in something on your ass and because you're working in your lower dimensions you cannot fight it off wasn't your son just in a car wreck and I remember someone mentioning a long time ago 
how someone went and had work done on Sheree and that kind of fucked her up. So is this another example of karma for NeNe Leakes? Because it looks like somebody is now working on you or all of that shit you did has been reversed back to you. Because now, here we go again, Sheree is back on Housewives of Atlanta and you're on a, on a path of self-destruction. What is with these fire signs and self-destruction? And you know, I'm going to tell you something. A lot of times with fire signs, Aries, Sagittarius's, Leo's, whatever. A lot of times with these fire signs, you have to give them enough rope. And air signs too. That includes Gemini. Sometimes you have to give them enough rope to just hang themselves. That's how you have to deal with fire signs a lot of times. Especially if you're a water and air sign. Sometimes you just, or an earth sign. Sometimes you have to give them motherfuckers enough rope to hang themselves, especially Leos and Aries. You do. So now Sheree is back on the Real Housewives of Atlanta, and Nene, you're gone. So it's like the earth reclaiming its territory. Same thing with Duffy. On basketball wives. She's a Virgo. Tammy was pushed off of basketball wives. Truth be told, she didn't just leave of her own volition, no matter what she says out of her own mouth. Read between the lines. No, what it was, her and Shawnee had a falling out. She and Shawnee had a falling out because Tammy felt like Shawnee was better friends with Evelyn than she was with her, and that's true. She likes Evelyn more than she likes you. But where do they get these people? Where do they come from? Where do these mentally, alleged mentally unstable people come from? And we get to watch their train wrecks play out on TV. We get to watch it. At least we know where Kenya Moore comes from. She admits her... Um, uh, of faults and she admits her um, iniquities we even know where Portia comes from she comes from a background um, I think her grandfather was his name Isaiah something I, I forgot his name but he was a, a well known civil rights activist forgive me for not remembering his name but it's a lot of thoughts going through my mind at one time right now at least we even though I don't care for Portia but at least we know where she comes from we know who she is. Who is Sheree? For real, for real. Where did she really come from? Where she thinks so low of herself that she doesn't think that she can get or deserves a man that's not in the fucking penal system. There is no way I would be sitting on no phone having no phone relationship with some nigga in jail. I've been there and done that. That's how I can speak on it. I have talked to niggas in jail before. I've tried that when I was younger and the shit didn't work. Them niggas was only looking for somebody to fucking talk to. Like this one dude that I was talking to years ago when I was in my early 20s, years ago. He gonna tell me, well, I can be a friend of you, but uh, you know, I, I can't be nothing else because I'm not into men. Okay, that's cool. But this nigga was telling me how some white old woman who was a chaplain was coming to probably was a damn man but some white old woman who was a chaplain would come see him he pulling out his dick behind the glass telling her oh bitch you know you want this motherfucking black dick you telling me all this bullshit you telling me all of this and I'm supposed to be sitting up on the phone being friends with you then I remember this other black guy I was talking to years ago um, I was in my early 30s at that time, or maybe my late 20s, maybe early 30s, late 20s, I don't, maybe early 30s. And this guy was telling me how the, this gay white male CO, he was always dicking him down in jail and shit like that. So after that, I said, how in the fuck can I sit up here and talk to these types of motherfucking men? 
they ain't giving me no motherfucking dick, number one. It ain't all about dick. But it's just their energy. And I knew right then and there, after that experience, I said, fuck, never again. Never again. And I had a few more experiences before then. You know, where I would talk to dudes in jail and then they would ghost you and all that old type of bullshit. I don't have time for that motherfucking shit. If your ass in motherfucking jail, I'm not going to be your motherfucking friend. Nigga, you got a friend in Jesus. What? A friend you got in Jesus. Because you don't got one in me. And that's real motherfucking talk. Because I don't deserve that. And I figured out, oh, I don't deserve this low dimensional ass bullshit. So, why does Sheree, there, there has to be something wrong with her if she thinks that she doesn't deserve better than that. Now, sometimes it works. Sometimes it works. You know, because all men are not like these types of particular men sometimes it actually works sometimes it can work so don't take offense if anybody you know mess with somebody in jail I'm not saying you shouldn't do that I'm talking about her particular situation and men that are like that because that's some fucked up ass shit what he did to her he stood her up when people stand you up, that's humiliating, that's degrading. That tells a person that I don't care about you. And like I said in my video yesterday, they're institutionalized. All of these people are institutionalized. Monique, Nene, Tammy Roman, Stevie J, the, the pastor John, the fake pastor John fucking Gray. Uh, 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 who else? Uh, 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 Nature Boy. Uh, 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 that that other one, Rashad. Whoever. All of these people are institutionalized. All of these people are institutionalized. And their success is not authentic. Their success is motivated and driven by design, by lower level Illuminati design, lower dimensional design. And that is why their success really does not last. It will not have a legacy attached to it. It won't. And the people that are genuine, the people that are, you know, um, about something such as myself, we don't get the same notoriety because we speak too much real motherfucking shit and they don't want to hear that they would rather hear sweet lies than the bitter truth because the bitter truth is none of you motherfuckers really got no, no whole bunch of fucking talent none of you when I asked um, another spiritualist that I look at and I enjoy her videos when I asked her a question about Monique and D.L. Hughley, the way she broke that shit down, and she was talking about something totally different in, 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 her, uh, in her life. But when I asked her to break that down about D.L. Hughley and Monique, when I asked her to do that, the way she broke that down was, was so spiritual and so genius. She went into dimensions that I hadn't even thought about. She went, I mean, she went and pinpointed and brought this up and, and, and exposed this. I mean, she did a, a, a damn, a whole spiritual reading on it. That's talent. That's creativity. That's spirituality right there. And if she sees this video, she knows who I'm talking about. That's creativity. That's spirituality. She went, she went from one, she was like, this is what's going on with her, this is what's going on with her over here, and I noticed it. I mean, she broke it down, and I mean, I, I could barely keep up with her. She was doing it so, so good and so spiritual. She was like this, I mean, it was like she was seeing 
everything in multiple dimensions. That's real creativity. That's real spirituality. Not this hood booger shit with these mentally ill people that we see pretending to be spiritualists, pretending to be occultists, pretending to be this, pretending to be social influencers, when they're just mentally ill people on train wrecks and they're getting a, a government subsidy for it. That's it. So the question remains, and ask yourself this, who are these people? Who is Umar Johnson? Who is Boyce Watkins? Who is Tariq Nasheed? Who is uh, Tommy Sotomayor? Who is Sergeant Willie Pete? Who was Kevin Samuels? Who is NeNe Leakes? Who is a uh, Sheree Whitfield? Who is Tammy Roman? Who is this person? Who is Evelyn Lozada? Who is Oprah Winfrey? Who is John Gray? Who is Tasha Kay? Who are these people? For real. Who are these people? This ain't no shade. This is just questions. And I'm not talking about their internet personalities. I'm talking about where did they come from? Now I'm not really calling Tasha K crazy or nothing like that. I'm not saying she's crazy. But she's a big known she's a well known person. So I'm just putting everybody in this same in this same boat, just questioning who they are. But Nene Leakes, Monique, Tammy Roman, they cray cray. Allegedly, let me say it that way, they're cray cray. They are cray cray. They have some serious deep rooted issues. And so does D.L. Hughley. Who is D.L. Hughley? And let me say this motherfucking shit too. Let me say this motherfucking shit too. Because even though I'm talking about Monique, why are people acting like D.L. Hughley is innocent? That motherfucker's not innocent. Number one, he's not even all that fucking funny if you ask me. He is not innocent. And that video that Monique posted on her Instagram of, of that interview he did on Jay Leno, when he spoke negatively about the Rutgers basketball team, that's exactly what he said. He backed up a racist, Don Imus, who was making fun of black women's hair. That is a racist stereotype, and he has black daughters. So while we want to sit up here and we want to be myopic in our views, and while we want to sit up here, we want to just point at Monique, how come nobody wants to hold him accountable for the shit he has said? He has, uh, he has, he has talked negatively about black women uh, horribly. He has said uh, anti uh, negative things about gay people. You know, it's one thing to be comedic. It's another thing to be a hateful ass motherfucker. Now, Joe Torrey, that's a funny motherfucker. I remember he made this gay joke. He said, um, I don't know why y'all don't want gays in the military because uh, he said, if a snake bites you in your dick, Mayday ain't gonna come and suck that motherfucking poison out your dick. Now, that was funny to me. That was funny. You know what I'm saying? That, that's some funny ass motherfucking shit. Now, that's funny. You know, because there's no hatred attached to it. D.L. Hughley is a hateful person. We cannot sit up here and point at Monique and not point at him too. Fuck the comedy uh, discrep fuck the contract discrepancy within that comedy show that he and Monique were supposed to do. I'm talking about his character. His character is fucked up. Based upon his behavioral patterns I've seen. So let's not sit up here and try to, you know, make it seem like that Monique is all bad by herself. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. You're not going to do that on my watch. No, 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 no. Yeah, Monique got a lot of motherfucking shit with her. I agree. And I don't give a fuck who got a problem with it. But at the end of the motherfucking day, D.L. Hewley is running her a close motherfucking second. Now, did he have a right to, to, to say what he said to her about mentioning her his daughters? 
abso freaking -lutely. I ain't taking that away from the man. But this man has a history of being a hateful, nasty racist towards black people and black women in general. Real talk. Real talk. And my question remains, who are these people? Who are these people? We're so busy giving all of them, not me, but I'm saying we just for the sake of argument. We are so busy giving all of our energy to these people. And then we wonder why we're sitting around broke, broken, in pain. Relationships are not working. Because we're giving all of our energy to these entities who are not even real. Those are archetypes. That ain't the real D.L. Hughley. That ain't the real Monique. The real, the real, the real person of those individuals is much worse than what we see. It's, it's much worse. So who are these people? Who are these people that they keep trying to shove down our throats? Anyway, this is the Occult View, a.k.a. Sia Grant. I just thought I would come through and just drop this little tidbit, and that's really all I have to say. Thank you.